Hey guys, my name's Hugh Dixon. I'm a trooper with the North Carolina Highway Patrol. Today we're bringing you another virtual field trip. Today we're at the Longburg Fire Department on the Longburg Fire Department training grounds. The Longburg Fire Department is going to demonstrate the use of fire extinguishers and how to use them. They're going to demonstrate the ladder truck and life-saving equipment that's on the ladder truck. And also they're going to demonstrate the pump on how to pump water at a fire and how to receive water from hydrants and other fire trucks. My name is Jordan McQueen. I'm the fire chief with the city of Laurenburg Fire Department. We're here at our training grounds today with the Highway Patrol. We're going to do a virtual field trip. We're going to go over fire extinguishers and also our ladder trucks. Hello, my name is Jamie Sweet with the city of Laurenburg Fire Department. I'm here to demonstrate a little fire extinguisher training for you today. The most common types of fire extinguishers are the ABC, which you can find in your home or you can buy them at your local Walmart or Lowe's. The best way to test these things is there's a little gauge up here. If it's in the green, it's good that you can take it off the shelf, turn it upside down and shake it to make sure it's working properly. If you have a, do have a fire in your home, you can attempt to put it out if you want to. If not, call us, that's what we're here for. That's what our job is, is to actually fight the fire. We don't want you to get in harm's way. The best thing to do is get out and stay out. But if you pull the pin, squeeze the handle, aim and sweep. That's called the pass method. Just pull, aim, squeeze and sweep. What we're gonna do is Engineer JT Locklear here is going to demonstrate to you and I'm going to narrate what he's doing while he's doing it. If you'll see he's fixing to pull that pin, there's a silver pin, you pull it out, it should have a little plastic breakaway tab on it which you can pull it right off with your hand. You pull that off, aim it at the base of the fire, squeeze and sweep. That's where the pass method comes into effect. Pull, aim, squeeze and sweep. What I'm going to discuss now is the different types of fire extinguishers. This is an ABC fire extinguisher. It can be used on uh, paper and wood, liquids, or electrical fire. All this in one. It's a dry chemical that's coming out of this extinguisher. When you pull the pin, aim, squeeze, and sweep. The object of it is, is there's a fire triangle. You got heat, oxygen, and fuel. You're trying to disturb one of those and take it away. Once you take it away, that's more than likely going to extinguish the fire. Bobbitt with the City of Laurenburg Fire Department. Today here, standing here with Ladder 1, going to talk briefly about some things that are on this truck, life safety wise. Here we have our jaws of life, we have our spreaders, we have our cutters. Our main reason for those are car wrecks. If we ever need to cut you out of a car, cut something on a car, they're there, they're very strong, very powerful. We have a spare bottle. And that's for big fires. If we need to tote air inside, we can do that. We can hook into a buddy breather, supply them with more air if they need more air in their air pack. We have a rit line. It's a 200 foot line. And every 50, every 50 feet, there's a carabiner. And you can use this to clip into for search and rescues. There's a search bag that clips into it, into each carabiner. Stokes basket here. We need for high angle rescues, we've got rope, we've got carabiners, we've got uh, webbing, and all of this can be used also with this ladder truck. Okay, here we have one of our engines. Um, there's multiple tools on this truck as well. Um, 
you have different hoses, you have different sizes of hoses. You have an inch and a half, inch and three quarters, all the way to two and a half and five inch. Um, it all depends on the size of the fire. Uh, we have a 2,000 gallon per minute pump. Um, usually our pressure is set at 150, somewhere around 150, 175, depending on what we're flowing, how much hose we have. There's 770 gallons of water on the truck. Um, we have fire hydrants all throughout the city. Uh, we have five inch we can hook to the fire hydrant and give us more water if we need to supply water. We can also use two and a half. Uh, we have tankers throughout the county that can bring us water. They have around 1,500 gallons of water on the trucks. Um, if we need more water, we can call for them. Most times our basic um, residential structure, we'll use a simple inch and a half. It's already pre-connected. You just pull it off the truck and pull the lever for the cross lake. All these levers right here are labeled and it goes for which one? The hose reel, which is the booster reel coming out of the back. Use that for grass fires and simple things like that. Um, uh, your cross lays, all three cross lays are right there. Your rear discharge, which is a pre-connect on the back. Your tank fill, your deck gun, which is on top, and your front discharge. If we have to hook up to a hydrant, we'll use this steamer cap right here. Uh, if it's something simple, uh, we see it's a small fire, maybe in the kitchen or something like, like that, that can be knocked out quickly. We will not worry about a hydrant. Um, usually the 770 gallons will last um, 10 minutes maybe, depending on how many cross flares are pulled off the truck. Um, if it's a big commercial fire, uh, we'll need a lot more water than what we have on the truck, so we'll hook up to the hydrant pretty quick or start calling for more water pretty quick. Um, if, a if a tanker has to come, we call for a tanker. Usually it's in the county and there's not fire hydrants within the, um, the distance that we have hose on a truck. We have a thousand foot of five inch on the truck. And usually in the county, your uh, fire hydrants are staggered out. They're not as close as they are in the city. Um, we'll call for a tanker, maybe two or three tankers if we need it. And they'll come up and they'll supply us with water through here. It's 1,500 gallons on each truck and they'll come put their water in the truck and they'll run back and forth to the hydrant and, and supply us with more water. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today on this virtual field trip here at the Longbird Fire Department. I want to thank the Longbird Fire Department and Chief Jordan McQueen for allowing us to be here and demonstrating his equipment and skills to us. Stay tuned for future virtual field trips and we look forward to seeing you again.